<clears throat> anyway, today's the day, y'all. I got to go get my money. Fuck that. Uh, I'm going to go up here with a cool attitude, man. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm not going to say nothing. Because somebody up here, they telling lies and they telling nothing but bullshit, man. So make sure y'all hit that comment section down below. Make sure y'all really hit that like button. Make sure y'all really support this shit, man. Because this is really fucked up. You know what I mean? HR right now was telling me something way totally fucking different. Telling me it's going to take three to five business days for a paper check to come in the fucking mail or whatever. Yada, yada, yada. And that yesterday you was terminated and everything. And I'm like, first of all... I'm like, first of all, nobody told me I was fucking terminated and nobody gave me the legit reason that I was terminated, you guys. So right now, we're going to get everything documented. We're going to get everything on camera or voice recorded as much as I can. And I'm going to try to include the voice recordings inside this video and everything and really, uh, and really get some answers and everything because, uh, yeah, this is not fucking right. This is not right. This is not right. Ain't no way in hell. I'm not finna be waiting three to five business days for a fucking check to come in a goddamn mail. Now, you know what? Now, if it's one thing, if they fucking terminate me or whatever the case may be, I got some shit lined up. I gotta go to the DMV. Most likely today or tomorrow, I gotta go get a copy of my DMV fucking printout. Once again, I'm kind of glad I paid all my fucking bills on time and I paid everything ahead, man. That's one thing I can say I'm very grateful about, but I'm not going to go this weekend, this long weekend, without a paper check in my fucking pocket and in my bank account. They got me messed up with that one. They got me messed up with that one. They got me messed up. So we're going to go up here. We're going to talk to them and I'm getting everything on, on camera and I'm getting everything uh documented, man. I need the reason why, why I'm being terminated. I need paperwork and everything. So I'm going to get everything right now. And then I'm going to hit up that, uh, I'm going to hit up that, uh, I'm going to hit up, I'm going to hit up a law firm and uh, I'm going to let them take care of this situation because now this is, now this is wrong right here. You cannot just terminate somebody and not give them and not have, not have a legitimate reason documented why that person is terminated. That is fucked up. That is fucked up. And I know to a lot of y'all niggas that prayed. I know to a lot of y'all niggas that prayed on my fucking downfall and everything, it's cool. I know y'all niggas is in the background laughing and, and, and laughing and having a good old time and everything, but it's all good, though. It's all good, though. I really ain't tripping. I paid all my fucking bills. <laughs> all my bills is paid up. All my bills is paid up, and I'm way ahead of the damn game. So, really, I'm not even tripping. And like I said, I got some shit lined up anyway, so, you know what I mean? But they should at least told me, should at least did on their part told me the truth and said it for what it is like hey this is what's gonna happen and you know what i'm saying and if that's the case they if that was the case they should have been melt they should have been melted out or something but no we're gonna go up here we're gonna get everything on camera and i got my phone too because i don't want to spook nobody with this camera by the way so i got my phone you know i know my phone quality ain't, th ain't that good as his uh video quality but uh yeah we're gonna go up here i'm gonna get mine fuck that Catch you guys right now. There we go. No harsh feelings. Kept it calm. I got the voice recording. Let me see if it'll play through. Yep, no harsh feelings. Um, I don't play. I'm just here. I just don't straight. I'm here to get my money. I don't want no bullshit. I don't want no nonsense. And they're gonna give me the paperwork and everything. So uh, it is what it is. I'm just here for the bread and the butter. I ain't here for no drama, no nonsense, y'all. So I find out. I find out anything else right now too. So yeah, we just here, and um, I plan on being here until until the money gets here because I'm not finna be this weekend without no money hell no hell no they got me fucked up got me fucked up they can let me go which is cool but i ain't finna be be i'm not finna be not finna be out this weekend with no bread and no butter uh-uh uh-uh hell no one thing i was a man uh-uh that money got to keep coming in so yeah so yeah y'all i'll let y'all know stay tuned just watch this shit all the way through i don't know why the voice recording didn't come through i think the bluetooth interfered with everything so uh let me see we'll try to get everything voice recorded i ain't trying to really uh spook nobody 
with this uh with this big camera or whatever and i'm not gonna wait all day for no pay for no paycheck or whatever because if that was the case and they knew that they was going to cut my ass to the curve or whatever they had like damn near 72 hours 72 hours is that's like three days right there they have everything ready to go bam last check paperwork why you this and that and bam on to the next on to the next Fucking bitches up here when I have a fucking attitude and everything. I swear, I'm glad I'm not, I'm glad I did get fired from here. I'm happy I got fired from here because I ain't got to deal with no goddamn stupid ass females and I damn sure ain't got to deal with no stupid ass men up here. Fuck. Best believe there's been some situations. I was gonna call my girl and have her come up here and whoop that ass. Yeah. Fuck out of here, bitter ass females. <laughs> Watch this shit on the way through, man. <laughs> For real, y'all. It, it's been a few situations, man. My, I was gonna have my girl come up here and whoop that ass, but uh, but yeah, you guys, just stay tuned right now. Stay tuned. Oh, another thing, he tried to tell me too. Oh, uh. Oh, he tried to tell me too. Try to come at me or whatever. I'm like, dude, why are you coming at me foul for, bro? I'm coming at you with the most utmost respect. I could have came. I ain't even told him. I could have came up here and basically wanted to squabble up and you know what I'm saying and uh catch that catch that uh. You know what I mean? Catch catch a quick one or whatever. You feel me? But I came up here with the utmost respect. I came up here professional. And um, you know what I'm saying? And his excuse was, oh, I didn't answer the phone or whatever because uh, it's busy up here. Shit don't even look busy. Nah, shit look dead up here. But once again, good luck finding somebody else. Shit, once again, you guys, I don't recommend this company at all. I do not recommend this company at all. So, uh, so yeah, stay tuned right now. Here's the packet, man. Here we go, right here. Here it is. You will be late and discharged on September 1st, 2022. <gasps> Actually, tomorrow's my brother's birthday. I'm gonna see what he wants. <laughs> yeah, so here it is, right here, you guys. They didn't even, like I said, they didn't even provide the. They didn't even provide the reason why I was discharged. Um, the manager told me up there, all all he said was just, oh, things didn't work out. It is what it is. So, yeah, I got two checks right here, which I will show you guys right now. Yeah, I got two checks right here. I got two checks right here. I'm going to show you guys that shit, too. But that's all he told me. He was like, oh, things didn't work out. Come on. Things didn't work out, and it is what it is, y'all. And uh, when I got up there, they got they was all scared and shit. But uh, but it's like, nah, I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm like, fool, I'm just here to get my money, return the phone, and that's all I'm asking for. Give me my paperwork and everything, and that's it. And that's it. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm about to block all their numbers because uh, I'm not gonna be uh, I'm not gonna be bothered with their asses no more. I'm moving on to something else, you guys. Uh, today, once I clean up, take a shower get ready and everything i am going to go to the dmv today to go get my uh my uh my, my dmv my dmv printout uh, i'm going to talk to these guys up here at the uh at the will and tire shop because i'm gonna see if my bank could cash these checks right now and not make me uh and not make me wait you know what i mean because i'm not trying to wait until yeah i'm gonna see when these motherfuckers is going to clear because uh yeah, I ain't trying to go to that hassle or whatever. Because if that's the case, I can just go to a check cashing spot nearby at a liquor store that I know and uh, get this shit cashed out and everything. So, uh, so yeah, you guys. So, um, yeah, I'm already at my bank already. Let me see, show y'all real quick. I'm already at my bank and everything. So, um, yeah, we're going to go up in there. A lot of y'all want to see the bread and the butter. So, yeah, and I know a lot of y'all get motivated out for money. I'm going to show you guys the money. They paid me out my last regular. Yeah, hold on real quick. Let's bleep out the address, but uh, this is my last one right here. Let it focus in. Let it focus in. Come on. Fucking camera, are you kidding me? Really, you can't focus in? Well, this one right here is for $1,094. The second check is for... 948 and some change so do the math how much is that probably is right there so yeah it ain't folk my camera's not focusing in y'all so um yeah don't even mind it i gotta go in the bank and go take care of that real quick so and then after this i'm gonna call the lawyer i'm gonna call the lawyer and everything 
You know what I mean? Because I might have a case for this for this situation right here. You know, because there was a lot of bullshit going on on that on that over there at that place. It was a very bad, toxic environment. Like I mean, very toxic. And then, mind you, the management was just shady and crooked, and with the bullshit or whatever the case may be. Because mind you, you got, yeah, yeah, y'all. And I'm about to pull that race card out. Y'all watch this one, man. I might be winning some big money right, and maybe in the next couple months or so. So until then. Let me go up in here and take care of my financial business. I'll get back with y'all right now. All right, you guys. Now, there's a Bank of America that way. Fuck me. I should have went that way. But, uh, oh, I got a fart. Let me go make a U-turn, y'all. Because I was going to run into my bank, but they was going to put a hold on the funds until, uh, until fucking September 7th of next week. Yeah. Yeah, and that was me going inside the, that was me going inside of the, and going inside of the bank. Because I was thinking about running it through the ATM machine, but it was some fucking, it was some fucking, it was some fucking niggas right there looking to, up to no fucking goddamn, it was some typical broke niggas right there, so I had to get up out of there. I'm not playing around with all y'all right now, trust me, believe me. I had to get up out of there. So yeah, I went by my gut in, in, instinct, these niggas is up to something, so um... So yeah, y'all, we're gonna go to the Bank of America, the one I usually go to over here on the, uh, over here in the Wrigley area. We're gonna go over here. They do got one. Let me see something. Damn. See, I'm fucking up, y'all. I could've went to the one on Long Beach Boulevard. Uh, fuck it. You know what? I'm just gonna go to the Bank of America, y'all. It's a Bank of America check, so I'm gonna go there and just cash it. They're gonna hold the motherfucker anyway. They, they was gonna hold both of them, both of these checks right here. So I'm just gonna go there, cash both of these checks, and just pay the fee, whatever the fee they charge for a check cashing fee. So, uh, and I'm just gonna get up out of there. I'm just gonna get up out of there, y'all. So, uh, so yeah, man. Uh, once again, I'm not tripping. It's all good. I'm looking at the positive side of it. Shit wasn't meant to be. I'm not in a toxic uh, environment no more. I'm about to be in another, I'm about to be in a better environment. And um, I'm gonna be starting something else. So I'm just debating, what should I do? Because uh, one of my homeboys was telling me, still file for unemployment just in case that next thing don't go through. That way, you know, you do got income coming in. But the only thing that's fucked up about EDD and unemployment is that, is that um, you can't use it as a legit source of income. Now, yeah, that's the thing I don't want to go through again. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of y'all was telling me last night on the live stream, man. A lot of y'all was telling me. You know what I'm saying? Take it. Take this shit. Shot on. Well, I'm already full time as it is as we speak right now. I've been full time for quite some time. I've been dropping videos seven days a week, multiple times a day. So there's nothing new. You know what I mean? But a lot of y'all were telling me to just take that fucking route. You know what I'm saying? With you know what I mean? T take that route with the unemployment and everything, and just go full flat. Well, you know, basically go full on with this motherfucker. You know, I've been reading. I was reading the comments last night, y'all. A lot of y'all was just saying that shit. You know, because y'all see the potential and everything, which I appreciate it, man. That last night's live stream, man, that was love right there. That was love right there. So a lot of y'all telling me just take this shit full fledged on, man. So uh, it's a hard decision. Once again, I'm still gonna fall for unemployment. For the meanwhile, while I'm going through this process with this next company or whatever, I'm not sure how long that shit takes or whatever the case may be, but I'm still going to fall anyway. I'm still going to fall anyway. I'm still going to, you know what I mean, fall the claim and everything and, um, and yeah, go from there and uh, just do what I got to do out here, you know? So that way, just in case I don't end up getting this next thing that, that I got lined up, you know what I mean? Money is coming in and even this YouTube money is coming in. So yeah. So yeah, y'all. So um, I said today, you know what? Friday, y'all know every Friday we go get the car detailed and everything. So that's tomorrow's video. Today's video is just this situation, y'all. So yeah, not clickbait. Fired a nigga. <laughs> they fired a nigga. So it is what it is, man. I didn't go up there acting stupid. I didn't go up there acting crazy. I went up there with respect, professionalism. I guess you call it. You could call that. And um, yeah, got my last payout. And uh, and yeah. Yeah, y'all, we're going to see what happens next. So other than that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Wait, wait, wait. See you guys on the next one, man. I see you guys right now, man. Just keep watching all the way through. <laughs> I'm tripping, man. I'm tripping.
I'm tripping. So yeah, let's see if I can go to, go to the Bank of America and cash this Bank of America, these Bank of America checks, man. I don't care how much they charge me. I'm not trying to wait all weekend for my fucking money to show up and be available and everything. Fuck that. That's bullshit. I really don't like how the way these banks be operating and everything because it's really so fucking stupid. So, so yeah, you guys, stay tuned. We got that moolah. We got that moolah, y'all. We got that moolah. Look at that. Uh-huh. 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 Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, y'all, we got that bread. We got that fettuccine now, man. We got that. We got that. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Money's calling me. Oh, my goodness. I got to get the money. I got to go get the money. <laughs> Yeah, y'all, we got the, we got it. Bam! You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, it's just people over here uh, that's doing the car wash fundraiser or whatever. So I'm gonna go show love and show support. I don't know these people, but uh, if you look at my car, I need a car wash. Let me see. I'll go wash this shit. Donation? Yeah, okay, hold on. Who do I give it to? Okay. All right, thank you. I need a car wash, y'all. So, yeah. Let's go. Shit. We're gonna get the car wash real quick. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, they doing the car wash fundraiser up here, y'all. So fuck it. I gotta get some footage and get my shit washed. Alright, y'all. I wanna send I wanna send a huge okay, I'm filming right now. Fuck it. Anyway, I wanna send a huge shout out to uh Dorotero Dorotio detailing if i pronounce that right y'all that's his phone number text message instagram and tiktok he just did a quick wash um uh, when i was at the bank when i was at the bank today when i was at bank of america oh let this shit focus in oh, here we go when i was at bank of america uh they was having a car wash or whatever my car was dirty it had bird shit and um yeah so yeah this is for motivational purposes right here what i'm about to show y'all and I know y'all hate it. I'm, yeah, this is for motivational purposes. I'm going to let this be known right now. This is two stacks right here full of 20s. I'm not going to fuck this off. I'm not going nowhere this weekend. I'm not doing nothing this weekend. This money's going to put be put away in my bank account and bills are going to get fucking paid. Well, I don't even really got no bills to pay. I paid all my bills ahead of time already because I knew this was going to happen. But this is being stored away in my bank account. I'm not going to fuck this off, y'all. Once again... I'm doing what I gotta do because uh, we gotta move out. So this money's gonna stay set to the side. So only thing that's gonna be taken care of is my gas, my car insurance bill, and my phone bill. And that's about it. Other than that, I'm not coming out this weekend. I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna be in town in Long Beach. If anybody wanna come out here and see me and visit me or wanna come hang out, y'all gotta come down here. That's all I gotta say. I'm not going nowhere this weekend. Here, take this in. Oh, hold on to this. And my backpack, my computer's in there. Close the door. Look at that. Who gave you all this? Two stacks. That's my last two checks. I had to go to I had to go to Bank of America to cash the checks because if I would have ran it through Citibank, they would have held it till September seventh of next week. Damn. That's like next Tuesday or Wednesday. So I what just all they only charged me eight dollars. No, we're not fucking that off, yo. Hey, right. Calm down, calm I, down. I, I hey, said how much, I know, that's two. That's two bands right there. That is two bands right there. No, no. You know what we talked about. I know. You remember what we talked about? We keep in a thousand set to the side somewhere and undisclosed in this damn house, and the other thousand going in the bank. Remember we talked about that? Mhm. Mm yeah. So that's what we're doing, you guys. That's what's going down or whatever. So, uh, yeah. 
You see how clean the car is? Huh? Oh, yeah. Now, they're having a car wash fun where I'm going to go back up there. I'm going to take the truck. I was going to say, hold on to all that. I was going to say, hold on to all that. Count out a thousand. Set the thousand dollars cash to the side. The other thousand going to my bank account. Okay. All right. I don't know if you want to put that in the envelope and yeah, keep that out of the public eye. Let me show you how you do it. You fold it up like a taco and you put it in there. Check it out. I'll put that in the house. Put that where, Put that shit somewhere safe. Yeah, put that shit somewhere safe. Yeah. But anyway, you guys, let's uh, get a walk around in the car. I know y'all want to see how clean the car is, man. But shout out to this... Uh, Shout out to this guy right here, man, who uh, who did the detailing and everything. Make sure I give him give him a follow on Instagram and TikTok. I'm gonna do the same thing. And here's the contact info. <sighs> yeah, did a good job. Anyway, let's go. Cause we gotta take that. I gotta take that big bitch to go get washed. So uh, here you go. I gotta take this with me. Slide them something. Take my computer too, because I don't even need that neither. Here. Close it up. Yeah, they, babe, he tried to bullshit me and say, oh, uh, we might not have your check today. I'm like, man, shut the fuck up. Just give me my shit, but just give me my money. Ooh, it's hot. Let me go hurry up and run up and go crank up this big old bitch. It is hot. Thank you. Oh, they even did the tire shine. Huh? They even did the tire shine. Look at that. Yeah, y'all, shit happens. They didn't scratch the wheels, which is a good thing. I'm glad they didn't do that. They did wipe the wheels down, but they didn't scratch it. They went through the machine? No. Hand wash. Detail. Oh. It was a car wash fundraiser. I'll tell you, the bank is they're having a car wash fundraiser. And that's a detail company that did the car right now. So, yeah, there we go, y'all. Did a real good job, man. We ready for the weekend. We about to mob out this weekend. Oh yeah. What? All right, babe. But that's only safe because we gotta go to the bank when I come back. All right. All right, I'll come get you. So just hold on to that. All right. All right. You want me to do that? What? Is that free? Uh. Yeah. Okay. Come where you're outside. All right. Go oh, y'all, let's go start this big old thing up. <laughs> let's go start this shit up. in here <laughs> but uh yeah let this thing warm up for a bit idle for a bit we're gonna take this shit get this damn thing washed yep yep then tomorrow morning i'll go straight to the dmv and shit as soon as i wake up after i take my daughter to school y'all but uh yeah so that's what's going on for that's what's going on y'all that's what's next i gotta get my dmv printout and then I'm gonna apply for EDD. I'm just gonna take your advice. Still apply for unemployment. Just in case shit don't go through, do it anyway. So that's just what I'm gonna do, y'all. So yeah, other than that, see you guys right now after I get back and I get this truck washed and everything. Man, they did a good job, you guys. They did a fucking fantastic job. Boy. But yeah, I got a busy day today, y'all. I'm just busy. I'm just trying to just take care of everything and do what I need to do. Uh, business first before pleasure. That's just how the way I am, and I've been moving smart that way. I'm not finna fuck off my money. Hell no. So once again, to everybody, don't take it personal. If y'all want to come visit me or come hang out down here in Long Beach, feel free to do so. No problem. But I'm not going out of town or anything like that this weekend. One, I ain't trying to deal with checkpoints. Two, I ain't trying to deal with traffic and the bullshit or nothing like that. And then I just want to get my rest, man. Fuck. I've been working my ass off. I've been working my ass off, y'all. I'm tired. A lot of y'all don't understand. Oh, you're lazy. You're lazy, man. Do things that I do. 
Y'all yeah, see what the fuck I'm talking about, man. That's all I gotta say. Do what I do, and y'all see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> y'all see what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I'm just gonna put that out there. Y'all do what I do, and y'all see what I'm talking about. This shit ain't easy. This shit ain't easy out here. And all this I have, this is hard work. And fuck, I'm tired. Y'all don't even know. I'm tired. And yeah, so, yeah. Don't take it personal. Because I'm tired when it comes down to three-day weekends. I'm tired when it comes down to three-day weekends. I go out of town or something like that. Fuck, and I come back, and I'm tired of shit. It's like, now, I just want to get my rest, man. Y'all don't understand. I just want to get my rest. And just be in town. Like, me, me and my girl talked about it. We want to be in town. We don't want to fuck off no more money or anything like that, knowing that this shit happened. And um, I'm just going to take it as a lesson learned, you know? Like, once again. But I was prepared. See, one thing I can say, I was prepared. And I don't take no for an answer. So, especially when it comes down to my money, do not play with my fucking money. I don't care if you're a place, if you're an employer or personal individual. Uh, do not play with my money. Or else there will be consequences. Physical consequences. And every man or woman can relate to what I'm saying. There is consequences. Heck yeah. So other than that, um, once I get back home, do a walk around with this truck. And um, yeah, in the video and everything. So see you guys when we get back home right now. There we go, y'all. We home now. Do a walk around. Nice and clean. Can't see shit up in there. Look at that. Can't see nothing up in there. Look at that. Look at that. <clears throat> Look how dark that is up in here. All right. Um, all right, y'all. Other than that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, all notifications. I got to go take me a shower, clean up, and uh, get on with my day and go take care of some business, go pay some bills and shit. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out of here.